So Friday 9 a.m. I woke up bright and early, took a shower, and over the weeks leading up until the model horse show, I packed all of my models up and these were the amount of bins that I had ready to go. And my mom came and picked me up in her truck and we also picked up a local friend to us who was going to tag along on the journey, carpooling. The model horse show is called Dam Town Live and it is located in Bassano, Alberta. The drive from where I live to Bassano is about five hours and the country is super pretty on the BC side just entering Alberta but once you get into true Alberta it becomes very prairie lots of fields very flat lots of cows so I've done this drive many times now and it was good company and good conversation We stopped in Nanton and found this really ugly horse sculpture. <laughs> they were really rough. Heidi decided to buy it and it was the weekend mascot. We also stopped at the world famous candy store which had a ton of really crazy stuff in it. And we found this really ugly vintage horse as well as some frog gummies and Bob Ross candy. So there was that. And then back on the road, we ran into a train because Alberta is so flat. You could see the entire train and it felt like we were waiting forever. Once we hit Bassano, our first stop was at the Bassano Pharmacy. We were told there may be briars there. There was only a couple stable mates and Christmas ornaments, so we didn't spend too long. Bassano is very, very, very small. I mean, they still have a Sears. It's like a ghost town, so not super interesting. But we got early access to the hall. I was able to unpack all my stuff and set up for the next day. What is this town? It's a ghost town, man. No, what is this town? Hellhole. No. Bassano. No. It is the... Butthole of the Earth. <laughs> not the... Okay. <laughs> We stay at the only decent hotel in the town and surprisingly it's one of the best hotels I've ever stayed in. We caught some rest and got ready for the first show day. 9 a.m. We were up and ready to go. We hit the show hall. For the first day I was going to be showing my OF briars and my mini artist resins. Here's all the beautiful rosettes. Plates were awarded for overall grand champions and socks were awarded for reserves. I spend a lot of time at shows just checking out the eye candy. It's so cool to see a lot of these pieces in real life and all in the same place. Some wonderful works. Performance is always really fun too. There's crazy stuff that happens. My little Appaloosa guy ended up snagging a first, which was super exciting. And here I was watching the judge, hoping that she was going to pin one of my horses. But she did not. And then we lined up all of these donkeys to mess with the judge, and we thought it was so cute. I love these brighties, and then the sad little standing donkey that was a part of it. It was super fun. My mom was helping take pictures of them. And after the judge examined all of them, she gave mine the ribbon. What the heck? 
So I have a bunch of footage celebrating over this ribbon and it might seem a bit excessive, but I'm honestly glad that I did because this was the only rosette I got over the entire weekend. So there's that. Another briar doing well. This is an incredible piece by Tammy Myrold. She does such great work. Ravens, Juggernaut ended up winning one of the rosettes. My briars were trying to hold their own in the callbacks class, but we didn't end up doing too hot. There's Morgan video bombing. So here's me putting out some of my models onto the table just to show you a bit of the experience. If you really want to understand model horse showing and know better what's involved and what happens, you can check out my other video that explains all of it. I will link that in the description below. I was placing my Alborozo here in the color class, which was good because I missed his breed class somehow and that's like the only model I care about so I was kind of upset about that. Fireheart overtaking the Briar table in the Mustang class. The color classes are super fun because it makes your brain really happy because all of the colors are the same. And these classes get really crazy towards the end of the day. They end up filling up huge. But my Appaloosa guy won this class, which was insane. The Deco class was super fun and the other class was not so, so that's why Tammy had video vomit. My two briars in the callbacks, mini champions and reserves were pinned, so Raven's little mini juggernaut ended up winning overall. In briar, it was Morgan's Bristol and this Animar, who I don't know who owned it, but congratulations to the both of them. That was a hard division to compete in. Then at 7 p.m. there was a sale swap meet and some medallion classes, so lots of stuff for sale. And Raven taught a little novice workshop on showing and how to better show your models. I painted this set of medallions and I didn't get too much footage of this, but they all did really, really well. Not quite good enough for a rosette, but I was pleased. Sunday morning, 9 a.m., we start right back at it again. Today, I will be showing Artist Resin and Extreme Customs, as well as Simple Briar Customs, and I showed OF Mini just for fun. So this is where all the really beautiful work started making its debut, and there was just incredible stuff to look at. There was also two fables which made it to the table, which is so cool. This fly was adding realism. A lot of this work is done by Tammy Palomarchuk. She's incredible. I ended 
up getting a first and a second in this class, which was nuts. So in the China division, my mom bought this resin mule and she was so excited about it. She bought it at the beginning of the show and she really wanted to show it. It was her birthday, so like this was the highlight of her day. And this mule went on to do really, really well. You see him in his callbacks? He has a second there. He actually ended up placing really well for her, so that was super fun. I brought my dapple gray Jolie and she was next to Tammy's Jolie and yeah. My mom won a raffle prize. I found that this show, the judge didn't particularly love my style of work. It's hard, it's subjective, it's like an art show and she had a preference of more realistic stuff and my bar customs just couldn't compete with some of the artist resin quality that was on the table. Now in simple custom, I actually did very well and I was very pleased with the outcome of that. see my Fable and Bacillus fighting for their life over there. Bacillus did okay. Clive actually ended up getting a second, which was surprising. Ghost had no chance against these Stormwatch models, but we tried, we tried. In the fantasy class, I got to debut Tallulah, which was very exciting. A lot of people were really excited to see her in person, and she looked so cool on that resin table. Christie's skeleton horse was amazing. I loved this one. Some of these deco colors were wild. Dana did these really amazing carousel horses. I was obsessed. And the callbacks were heavy in the resin division. I had a couple models out there, but it was tough going. The Horgs and Fargs were also one of the last classes of the day. The judge did not have a sense of humor and she wouldn't even look at them. Here's Tammy trying to be humble and shuffle her ribbons, but like, these were all models painted by Tammy, basically. So she dominated this ring. The one that won was this beautiful mare painted by Morgan Kilborn. And the simple custom callbacks were defeated by this wonderful Lynn Caldwell Fireheart, Tammy Palmer Chuck, best customs horse. He got the overall grand champion. And then it was time to pack everything up and head back home. It's always a sad moment. 
and we clean up the hall. We do our best to help out, but we gotta hit the road for our five hour drive home. So we said bye to everyone. And by this point, two days of running around, it was nice to sit in a vehicle for five hours. So here's a bit of what I got from the show. I got a mixture of things. There was a lot of art supplies for sale, so I got some good deals on some of that, as well as some briars and a resin commission, actually. And then these were all of my placings, which put all together, I actually did very well. And then I had the one reserve champion rosette from the donkey. So all in all, it's not really about the show and the winnings. It's about enjoying a weekend with my mom and celebrating her birthday. It's watching her show her mule and get so excited about it. It's about debuting customs for the first time that people are able to see in real life. It's about sharing those exciting moments with friends and meeting up with these friends that I only get to see once a year, but also making new friends and spending time with other like-minded individuals. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have the opportunity to go to your own live show, I hope you get to do it at least once in your lifetime. It's a ton of fun and it is always one of the highlights of my year.